Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is a kit that uh, that I outsourced for. I did not uh, I did not design this specific kit. It's an inexpensive uh, four-digit digital clock kit. It comes with a PCB uh, program microcontroller, four-digit seven-segment display socket for the microcontroller, three monetary push buttons, uh, six 4K7 resistors, eight. 5K, uh, 5, 560 ohm resistors, and one 10K ohm resistor, as well, uh, two 30 picofarad ceramic, um, uh, ceramic capacitors, uh, a crystal oscillator, four 9017 transistors, and a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to breeze through this video, because this is extremely easy um, get to put together, excuse me. Uh, it's really, really very simple, and... Uh, but I'm just going to show you step by step on how to do it. We'll start with the resistors and the capacitors uh, because that's very easy. Now the resistors, there's uh, eight 560 ohm resistors uh, right here uh, from right to left and then on the, the, the leftmost two are labeled 4K7. So you put two of your 4K7 resistors in uh, on the left hand side that's labeled and you've got eight, again eight 560 ohm, 560 ohm resistors there. Uh, resistors aren't polarized, so it doesn't matter which way you put them in. The remaining 4K7 resistors, 1, 2, 3, and 4, are right here, and they are labeled on the board. The single 10K ohm resistor is right here. The footprint is right here. Now, your switch, um, sorry, your, your, your 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor is right here. It's labeled 10UF, and there's a positive sign on the left-hand uh, hole. Now, the two holes, you'll notice on the uh, electrolytic capacitor, there's a long lead and a short lead. The long lead is your positive, the short lead is the negative. Place the long lead in the left-hand side where there's the plus sign, and your short lead in the right-hand side. Your single, or your two 30 picofarad capacitors are right here and right here, and uh, they're labeled 30PF. Now, these ceramic capacitors are... Uh, there no, there's there's no polarization uh, and you can place them in either way it doesn't matter after we do that what we want to do is we, we're going to do our uh, our buttons and our transistors and our crystal oscillator very easy to do we'll get to it in just one second but in the meantime I'm going to solder those in so you can see what it looks like before going on to the uh, next step I wanted to mention after you have all of your resistors uh, clipped off and soldered in uh, you'll have a bunch of waste obviously now <clears throat> there are two uh, jumpers here, J2 and J1. Now you need to take care of these before you put the seven, seven, seven segment display on. Now, if you forget to do it, it's not the end of the world, you can solder them from the back. But what you want to do is take some of these wires, take one wire and put it through the J2 holes and another wire between the J1 holes to create a short along them. So use some of your scrap or use a wire, whatever you prefer, it doesn't really matter, but make sure you do that before you put on the seven segment display. Now we'll take care of the uh, transistors, the buttons, and the crystal oscillator. The crystal oscillator is the easiest. It's got two pins, doesn't matter which way you put it. Place it in the Y1 slot labeled Y112M for 12 megahertz. Just solder it into place, make sure it's flush with the board. The buttons are uh, to go into the S1, S2, and S3 slots. They only fit in one way. Click them in, make sure they're flush to the board, and solder them into place, all four corners on each one. Now the transistors, there is a, uh, there are four footprints here. They're labeled 9015, 9015, 9015, and 9015. You'll notice that there's a curved side to the footprint and a flat side. You want to make sure that from a bird's eye view that the flat side of the transistor is facing the flat side of the footprint and that the curved side, the back side of the transistor, is facing the curved side of the footprint. Very easy. Make sure you do not turn them around or else your circuit will not work. Solder those into place. Three in one step. We're going to finish it right here and now. <clears throat> on the seven segment display, the bottom is where you see the uh, the decimal points. Make sure that the decimal point on bird's eye view when you place it into the slots, that the uh, the decimal points are facing the bottom of the board. Easy to do. Uh, the socket. On the left side of the socket, there's a notch. On the uh, on the footprint for the IC. The left side there's a notch. Make sure from a bird's eye view you, you uh, line up the notches. On the left side of the chip there is a notch. Make sure the, le the notch faces the notch on the socket and facing the left on the board. If you turn that around you'll fry your chip. Now lastly, uh, you're going to need power lines. So JP, there's a, there's a jumper here. Uh, two holes. and one, those, The bottom one's labeled plus, the top one's labeled minus. Connect two wires and connect five volts to your to the bottom pin here, which is your positive, and ground to your negative, and then power it on. 
Okay, so I've got my positive wire, which is in this case yellow, and my ground on the bottom, and my ground wire, which is blue, on the top. It would have been red and black, but I ran out of red and black wire, so I'll turn it on. Five volts starts off at 0, 0.00, so it's. So now what you have to do is you can program the hours using the second switch S2, and uh, it's a 24-hour clock. Using the S3 switch, you can program in what the minutes. So, and if you don't like what you've done, you want to make a quick change. You just reset by pressing S1. Goes back to zero. To zero. Now, zero is not a nor like by the 12 o'clock standard is, is there the 12 hour standard. It's not a time, but this is essentially midnight. So, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and so on. So, I'm going to set the clock to 4:09. There we go. Very easy to use, neat little kit, fun to put together, and uh, again, if you're interested, uh, it's, it can be, it'll be available soon at engineeringshark.com and electroniclessons.com. This is one of the kits that does come with a little schematic, so uh, again, it is in Chinese, but it's very easy to put together, and you only need the uh, schematic in case you want to know the hardware behind it. Now, if you if you find that if you find that some of the digits aren't working, or you really have to watch out for shorts, you just make sure you look through the entire uh, project on the on the back side and look for shorts if you see anything out of the ordinary. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video, uh, and have a great day.